All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can take what we built and separate our data to a different spreadsheet. So, so far we have everything here. The form is in the same spreadsheet as all the data we're entering with inventory and drop downs and all this stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna quickly make a copy of this spreadsheet. Now, I don't really want the script in the spreadsheet. I just want the actual data. So again, I'm just gonna make a copy for now. So this should serve as the data source. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna just go to my script editor in the second one and basically just get rid of any scripts we have. There's nothing going on here, but like this one, I'm just gonna delete that. Save this. So basically now in this one, there are no scripts. So now I'm gonna go to the one that has the script and open the script editor. And here we have to check where we actually access our spreadsheet. So we're not gonna be accessing our spreadsheet in this U form, that's the user form itself. So this, we have nothing going on here. So we just have this funks as one. So see, we have here the spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet, which no longer is gonna be valid because we wanna link to this one. And we also have that same line going on here. And we also have the same line happening here. So three times in this functions, we refer to our active spreadsheet. Now let's also take a look at this file. So here we have this HTML service and here we're not really referring to our active spreadsheet. We're just getting the UI, but it's all gonna be happening in this file, that's fine. Here also we're not referring to our active spreadsheet. So no changes are needed on this one. So basically all we need to do, we need to take care of this one file. So what I'm gonna do, instead of doing this get active spreadsheet, I'm gonna go here and replace it with open by ID. And as the ID, I'm gonna go get the ID of this new spreadsheet I just did. So I'm gonna copy that link, paste it here and we just need the ID. So I don't need this beginning part, the forward slash, I'm gonna remove that. And then I'm also gonna remove this forward slash edit. Just keep the ID of the spreadsheet like this. Now the names for worksheets are all the same because I basically made a copy of it. I just have to make sure I do the same for all the other calls. So I'm gonna copy this and change this one and also change this one. So saved all of this. Now let's go and check this out. I'm gonna reload this. Do this, click on add to database. So there it is. So I'm just gonna test this one more time. Let's just go back here and do 12 of these and a different date. And that should end up being 182. And it does, and it's not adding to this. So if I go to inventory, see there's no 182 in this inventory, but if I go to this one, we have our 182. Looking good. So now I don't really need to keep all of these in here. So I'm gonna take my original and just get rid of all this data from this file. Let's make an empty one. So now we should have our form basically separated from our data. So there it is. That's our other spreadsheet. So I should be able to now easily just go here and choose some other option. Let's go ahead and add 12, click add to database. 
there it is 166 and that's now here so it works just fine no issues now with a completely different source file instead of using the same as the source file now the last thing I'm gonna do here just to keep this nice to have this source file in a more well-organized way instead of having the same ID once, twice, three times, because if you now change this, you have to go through this entire code and change all those IDs. We'll save it in our script properties. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take that ID from here, copy it without the codes, go to file, project properties, and here, see, we have the script properties. So I'm gonna do that and add a row. So I'm gonna call this WS ID, ID uppercase WS lowercase. Doesn't matter what you call it. Just remember what you did and paste the ID of that spreadsheet in here. I need to remember this WS ID part. So I'm gonna save this. So now instead of doing this, I'm gonna remove that and access our property service. And here we should have get script properties. And in that we should have get property. And the property we're trying to access is that one that was called WSID. Now I'm gonna copy that and basically do the same for all of these. And assuming I did everything correctly, I should be able to now easily go to this and run this again. Let me reload this. There it is, we got 200. That should be adding here. So good, that works. So that's a nice way for us to store some sort of things like this when we need to access them. And you could do the same for this worksheet names if you wanted to. So you could go back to this project properties, script properties, and just add a few other properties here like the names and use those in your script. So that way, if you need to update, you'll just go and update here and change this to a different ID or something. I think that's it. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.